Prince Philip's illness overshadowed the royal family Christmas celebrations in 2011, as the Duke of Edinburgh was forced to stay in hospital during the festive period after receiving treatment for a blocked coronary artery, a documentary reveals. The Duke of Edinburgh has been married to the Queen for 71 years and has been a constant companion on her many travels, visits and events she has attended. He retired from public duties in August 2017 but, since then, the Prince has remained an active and independent man. The Duke has kept himself busy with some of his favorite hobbies, which include painting, birdwatching, riding and sports. However, despite his active lifestyle, Philip has suffered from a string of health issues in the past 10 years, which have sparked concerns not only among his family but worldwide. In 2011, the Duke missed the royal service at Sandringham for the first time as he recovered from emergency surgery. A few days before, he had been suffering from chest pains and was later found to have a blocked artery, which was treated by coronary stunting. 2012 documentary Kate and William the first year recalls how his illness overshadowed the royal family Christmas celebrations. However, it notes how the royals rallied round to support the Queen and so did the public. Royal correspondent Victoria Arbiter said, The Queen had 27 house guests at Sandringham. The whole family was there which was fantastic. It wasn't just the family that turned up, so did the crowds. Royal photographer Arthur Edwards added, I have done Sandringham Church for at least 20 years and I know about crowds. I have been there in snow, in gales, in torrential rain, and when the sun's been shining but last year, 2011, the crowd was the biggest I have ever seen. Philip was soon back to his full form but, in 2017, he was hospitalized again after becoming ill with an infection arising from his pre-existing heart condition. Concerns for his health also mounted in January after he was involved in a car crash, which injured a passenger in the other vehicle and prompted the Duke to voluntarily give up his driving license.